There's a new product in the works, but it's not just for anyone. It's specifically for the US Air Force. That's a promising angle. Meet Air One, an electric aircraft with vertical takeoff and landing. In its current setup, it can fly for up to an hour on a single charge, handling a payload of 250 kilograms. It's no slouch in speed either, reaching up to 250 kilometers per hour. Air One will prove handy for various logistical tasks and has drawn interest from private customers as well. The creators mention around 800 pre-orders already. To grasp how good it is, consider this. It can fly from Canadian Victoria to Vancouver in just 41 minutes. Lots of buildings keep the lights on during the day, which isn't great for the electricity bill. The sunflower system offers a straightforward solution. It guides sunlight to the rooms that need it. As a result, it can replace as many as 60 bulbs at 60 watts each. According to the info, sunflower not only lights up spaces, but also reduces eye fatigue and headaches caused by daylight bulbs. According to UN predictions, about a third of the global population will be living in rural areas by 2050. Outside the city, it's quiet and spacious, but transportation remains a challenge. Life without a personal car can be inconvenient in many cases. The creators of the Monocab OWL project offer a solution. They suggest rethinking rail transport for rural areas using capsules. Similar to calling a cab through an app, you can summon these capsules. The project includes both passenger and cargo models, with a standard version accommodating six people. The project is currently undergoing testing in Germany and has received support from an EU program. By the end of 2023, the first fully autonomous restaurant with artificial intelligence debuted in the United States. It's a typical fast food joint offering burgers and fries, but here, visitors get to enjoy both the food and its preparation process. Reports mention that due to the meat grinding happening after orders are placed, the patties literally melt in your mouth. Purchasing food using biometrics is another tech feature. The creators are confident that this autonomous restaurant produces less waste since robots don't slip and spill oil. But just to be on the safe side, the innovative restaurant is located next to a regular one, ensuring there's someone to handle any issues. Meet eSight, a rather unique pair of glasses designed for folks facing serious vision issues. It's a game changer, even for people with vision as limited as that of a newborn. Here's how they work. A high-speed camera captures what's going on around, and special algorithms adjust the video to fit a person's specific vision quirks. For instance, eSight can effortlessly magnify the image 14 times. The result shows up on OLED screens, making daily tasks like reading and watching TV way more comfortable. The eSight 4 model goes for about $8,800. Since 2019, the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency and Toyota Corporation have been teaming up on the Lunar Cruiser. The challenge is no walk in the park, considering the Lunar Cruiser is destined for the Moon, not Earth. The lunar environment poses difficulties, 
Extreme cold, with nighttime temperatures plunging to minus 100 degrees Celsius, along with low gravity, a vacuum, and radiation. Japanese engineers are tackling a lot of hurdles, but they're not backing down. They've already unveiled this two-seat prototype. According to reports, the Japanese experts have bigger plans, envisioning a house on wheels, a useful addition for the hydrogen fuel production plant Japan aims to establish on the moon by 2035. Meanwhile, Space Perspective is into stratospheric flight exploration. Their plan involves taking up to nine people to an altitude of around 30 kilometers in a capsule. Passengers get to enjoy the views from the Earth's atmosphere's last layer, complete with home-like comforts. The capsule boasts panoramic windows, a bar, and a restroom. You can even post high-altitude photos mid-flight thanks to the internet connection. The entire journey takes about six hours, with two hours spent in the stratosphere for those keen on unique tourism. If all goes as planned, the first manned flight is set for this year. The creators are aiming to sell tickets at $125,000 each. Dive into virtual reality with EctoVR's new shoes. Don't let the looks fool you. EctoVR claims that these shoes not only let you stroll through digital realms, but also prevent disorientation, collisions with walls, and motion sickness. The trick lies in the wheels built into the soles that allow you to move in the virtual world while staying put in the real one. To get in on this, the team suggests filling out an application and keeping an eye out for updates. And if you're into cool gear, check out the Prime X Haptic VR gloves. They let you manipulate virtual objects and boast enhanced haptic connectivity. Tesla even chose these gloves to train its robots probably because they're customizable in just 45 seconds and work for five hours on a single charge. The price tag is around $4,450 for a pair. Imagine that you're gearing up to build an electric bike. Who do you turn to for help? Verge Motorcycles went with Mika Hakkinen, and it makes sense since he's been on their advisory board since last year. With the backing of the two-time F1 champion, engineers crafted this gem. The limited edition bike stands out especially for its robust power, a whopping 1,000 Newton meters of torque. It hits 0 to 100 kilometers in just 3.5 seconds and can reach a top speed of around 200 kilometers per hour. Even better, it covers a distance of 350 kilometers on a single charge. The company plans to make just 100 of these bikes, each sporting a plaque with Hakkinen's autograph. The price starts at $87,800. Onika's plant works impressively fast, desalting 53,000 liters of water daily, and there's news of a version that's 10 times more powerful. Fueled by wave and solar energy, the plant cleans water and moves it to the shore using pipes. The platform, made from recycled materials, including plastic bottles, has a lifespan of about 20 years. This gains significance given UNICEF's estimates that roughly half of the world's population will grapple with water shortages next year.
What happens if you combine a scuba mask with an action camera? Well, Liquid Image did just that, and the result is this action mask. The HD 720p can shoot videos and snap photos at a depth of up to 40 meters. It runs on AAA batteries, with four of them providing two hours of video or 2,000 photos. The 720p format ensures your footage looks good on a big screen. All the necessary cables come with it, so you can connect it directly to a TV without the need for a computer. Not a bad set of features for $135. Jelani Engineering is all about wheelchairs, and they've got an upgrade called the MT-02 that practically turns them into trikes. For $3,290, you can travel up to 50 kilometers on a single charge. The MT-02's installation is pretty straightforward, making it suitable for most manual wheelchairs. It comes with intelligent cruise control and a reversing option, displaying all relevant data on the built-in LCD screen. The MT-02 stays clear of the legs, and thanks to the folding handlebar, it fits easily into the car. Bring up our video is a new take on the bicycle, string bike. Instead of a chain, it features elastic strings that wind on the pulleys when pedaling and unwind from them. These strings are quieter and won't stain your clothes with grease like a chain. The bike has 19 speeds which can be switched on the go, just like with a regular bike. The replacement strings are affordable, costing only a couple of dollars, and they outlast chains. String bike comes in various versions with a carbon or aluminium frame, starting from $1,100.